Hi, welcome along to another video. This time we will look at the United Arab Emirates, UAE, weather modification activity. Sources are posted in the information section of this video and they will probably continue in a pinned comment, due to the quantity of sources used for this video, which is only published on the Anti-Weather Modification YouTube channel. In light of current events being presented in the media, this summary of the UAE's activity, is intended to give you a look at, the historical side of the UAE's activity, so that you can decide for yourself, what you want to think about the flooding event, that is being spoken about in the media, regarding the current flooding, cloud seeding, and the information presented by the legacy MSM. In short, we have seen the reporting of the flooding in the UAE. This was followed very quickly by multiple comments on news reports, on networking sites, that the flooding was caused by the UAE's cloud seeding, weather modification program, which itself was followed up in the MSM by the experts, explaining it was not cloud seeding. Via articles that were published and sourced from the Associated Press, AP, and elsewhere. The 1980s and the 1990s. The UAE has been modifying its weather since 1982. Their starting era is by no means one of the older programs on Earth, but over 40 years worth of the activities, does place it in a very active position. In the very modern era, unlike European counterparts, the UAE should be considered as, being totally open with UAE residents about the weather modification activities. Regular media reports give many details to people about what is happening and what should be expected. There are some contradictions in media reports but mostly they get it right. One example of this is the starting date of operations. The Gulf News, in 2015 gets things twisted by stating, operations began in 2001 on a scientific basis whilst then claiming operations started in the 1990s, which were not then, based on science. All cloud seeding is based on science. You cannot do, modern, physics-based weather modification without a higher level of scientific knowledge. In 2023, the Middle East and North Africa Financial News and the K-Liege Times, reported that operations started in 1982. The 2023 article states, the UAE, on an average, conducts over 900 hours of cloud seeding missions every year, with the government making substantial investments in research and technology. The article then answers the question on when did operations begin, the initial cloud seeding attempt took place in 1982 as a trial lasting for two months. Following that, cloud seeding operations have been carried out every year, but without a strong scientific foundation. By the end of 1990, the government established advanced facilities to address water security challenges, in collaboration with prestigious institutions, such as the National Center for Atmospheric Research, NCAR, in Colorado, USA, Witwatersrand Rand University in South Africa, and NASA. By 1982 there was about 40 to 50 countries with active weather modification programs, mostly done by silver iodide cloud seeding, either flared off from aircraft or dispersed via ground-based generators. The news report states the weather modification was done unscientifically. You can imagine how other scientists feel, who are given a couple of years' worth of grants to prove their concepts and show some results, clarifying their findings or not clarifying their results. In other words, the science of silver iodide cloud seeding which has been used, for example, in the 1930s in Germany, is then, 60 to 70 years later in the UAE, considered as unproven or unscientific. So scientists were really given 70 years to show if, one method of weather modification, silver iodide cloud seeding, was scientific or not. We're now, as per 2024, into more than 100 years worth of cloud seeding which is being applied, according to the WMO, across 50 to 100 countries. Individual nations can claim what they want, but it doesn't hold any water when viewed as part of a collective of nations carrying out the same activity. So, the conclusion so far is that, the scientifically proven weather modification technology, known as silver iodide cloud seeding, has been deployed in the UAE since 1982, which is currently 42 years worth. Focusing now on the 21st century. In February 2014, the national news outlet reported about the Abu Dhabi Air Expo Air Show. The headline stated Cloud Seeding Plane Steals the Show at Abu Dhabi Air Expo. One of the most intriguing aircraft on display is a cloud seeding turboprop plane. 
Its pilot, Captain Brendan Allen, flies directly into thunder clouds. Captain Allen is a former South African Air Force pilot. In October 2015, the previously mentioned science-based information appeared in the Gulf News, where meteorologists stated, use cloud seeding to replenish water table, Met says. According to the article, the rain-deficient UAE has been using cloud seeding, the infusion of salt crystals into clouds, to induce or enhance rain, since 2001. Although the country started using cloud seeding in the 1990s, the National Center of Meteorology and Seismology, NCMS, only began doing it scientifically in 2001. Salts means particulates, in this case, meaning silver iodide. We also know it was from 1982, allegedly unscientifically and not the 1990s unscientifically as stated. The article states further, in 2009, for example, the country experienced heavy rain for three days during which cloud seeding operations were intensified. The amount of water collection in dams was equal to nine years' water output of one UAE desalination plant. 2016. In February 2016, the Emirates 24 7 news outlet published an article titled, Water Logging in Dubai, Sharjah as Rains and Hailstorm Hit UAE. At the very end of the article, it is stated that the NCMS has also stated, its planes will remain on standby on Tuesday and Wednesday to facilitate the rainfall further with cloud seeding. Also in February, a CNN article was published via the 7WDAM news outlet that, at a remote airstrip outside Abu Dhabi, New Zealander pilot Mike Anstis is setting off to do something most would consider impossible in a desert. He's hoping to make it rain. Anstis is cloud seeding. He does it by firing salt compounds into the air to increase rainfall. On the wings of the aircraft, we've got flares, which, when we fire the flares, it burns, and it emits a smoke, Anstis said. That smoke then attracts water vapor, creating bigger droplets. It is also stated, which is misleading that they started cloud seeding 15 years ago to help sustain a growing population in the UAE, one of the world's top consumers of water. Suggesting the activity started in 2001, which you know already is not true. It is also stated, last year, they flew more than 150 flights. Each costs around $5,000 but they say it's cheaper and greener than operating desalination plants. This is, as well, misleading. It is cheaper than desalination, which is money-based and not environmental-based. It might be greener than desalination plants if you use oil to fuel desalination plants, but there is nothing green about, the unnatural manipulation of the natural weather systems. Adding particulates to the atmosphere that should not be there is not green. And you should be asking yourselves now, how does it cost millions of taxpayers' dollars to do a few months' weather modification in one state in the USA, when the UAE is doing it for $750,000? A now-deleted article by The National, in their Arts and Life section from December 2016, stated, in March, heavy rains lashed the UAE. Later, the NCMS confirmed that 77 cloud seeding operations took place between January 2016 and the end of March 2016, more than three times the amount on the same period in 2015. The Arts and Life section also published an article in April 2016 titled, Heads in the Clouds, How the UAE Hopes to Make Rain for the Good of the World. Given the recent downpours, one could be forgiven for thinking we don't need more rain but the UAE's rain enhancement program is not just looking out for us, but thinking about the needs of all humanity. So, creating flooding and property damage in the UAE, a desert climate nation, is saving the world then? Now it's time to get a bit sublime. In July 2016 the Gulf News outlet reported that, for the residents who suggest cloud seeding in Dubai to produce more rain, forecasters said it's impossible. Cloud seeding involves dispersing or seeding salt particles into clouds to attract more water vapor. You need clouds to seed in order to produce rain. If there are no clouds, what will you seed? In the UAE, viable clouds exist during winter until February, in some cases starting as early as November. The cloud seeding season runs to the end of March and not until, up to, February. Atmospheric aerosol injection has been used globally since the early 1990s to create clouds that can then be modified using traditional methods. The you need clouds to modify, to modify the weather claim, 
is about 45 to 75 years out of date. Ionospheric heaters and other electric charge methods create an ionized plasma condensation layer in the atmosphere, creating a cloud base. Zero clouds are needed for the electric charge method to create clouds that can then be modified. Strangely, the nonprofit Quarterly, which is a news report classed as innovative thinking for the nonprofit sector, states that the UAE carries out cloud seeding. Your guess is as good as mine as to how cloud seeding gets labeled as a nonprofit interest. So the pilots fly for free, the materials dispersed and the manufacturing of them are provided for free, the green, oil-based aircraft fuels for the aircraft are free? Yes, that was sarcasm, the damage caused by flooding is repaired for free, people's damaged property and vehicles are repaired for free, followed up with super soft and cuddly, non-profit hugs to everyone. The UAE pays out millions of dollars each year, to researchers working on rain enhancement projects. In August 2016, the National reported that the deadline for the rain enhancement grant applications is by the end of August. The grant is valued at 5 million US dollars. By August 2016, the program had received 91 proposals from 398 researchers and scientists from 45 countries. In September 2016, and remember what we noted earlier, Delegates from the UAE Rain Enhancement Program visited Italy, Germany, and Belgium to discuss innovation regarding rain enhancement techniques. As you know, Italy, Belgium, and Germany are well known, arid or semi arid countries, requiring the UAE to save their humanity. In October 2016, the Gulf News Society section published an article titled, 16th Asia Session of Meteorologists to be Held in Abu Dhabi. The WMO Secretary General, Dr. Petri Talas, lauded the UAE's research program for rain enhancement, especially since it aims to boost the global water security. Global water security means what? What is the UAE saving the planet from exactly when it is involved in redistributing atmospheric moisture, which has been criticized by Iran, in the specific case of the UAE's activity? Also in October, the StepFeed website focuses on cloud seeding in Dubai. Hold on though, October is not in the cloud seeding season and you can't cloud seed Dubai between February and November, right? I am so confused right now. Many of the national news, published articles are now deleted or only available via the internet archive. Screenshots of the published articles that are now deleted are available on my anti-weather modification Weebly website via the link posted below. Another deleted article from November 2016 states that, Students will learn about the UAE's cloud seeding program as part of their weather lessons. Time to ask yourself, what did you learn about weather modification at school? If you consider it was a known and applied activity, during your school years, you are excused from answering that if you are 125 years old or older. In another deleted article from The National in November, it is stated that the first $5 million grant has been awarded to researchers. It is now, from November 2016 also claimed, that rainfall is a national security issue. 2017, the Kalij Times stated in January 2017, that contrary to what many believe, cloud seeding is not a creation of rains but man-made interference to enhance rainfall. You cannot oxymoron that statement any further than what, has already been applied by the author of the article. Another article from January, by the Kalij Times, introduces the concept of nanocloud seeding, a new development in weather modification techniques that make cloud seeding 100 times more productive. The article states, UAE Rain Enhancement Program hosts first-ever international workshop. Topics discussed during the two-day workshop included using nanotechnology to develop novel cloud seeding materials for rain enhancement and advanced approaches towards scientific rain enhancement research in arid and semi-arid regions. You'll learn more about the nanotech side as we progress and don't forget how it will save arid countries such as Germany and Belgium from an extinction-level event national security issue. The Thomson Reuters Zawaya News Outlet published an article in January titled, The UAE's Bid to Boost Rainfall in the Desert. The desert is mentioned again. Luckily then, changing a desert climate to a wet climate is environmentally friendly especially if you use oil-based fuels to fuel a lot of aeroplane flights to disperse unnatural materials into the natural environment. Isn't it?
Is confusion the same as brainwashing, or is it greenwashing? The Thomson Reuters Zawaya outlet, also in January, published an article announcing, UAE's Mazda Institute files patent for innovative cloud seeding material. The research team has developed an innovative cloud seeding material using nanotechnology, which was announced by the WAM, Emirates News Agency. The article states further that, the Mazda Institute of Science and Technology, the independent, research-driven graduate-level university, focused on advanced energy and sustainable technologies, has announced that its research team, one of the inaugural recipients of the $5 million grant, from the UAE Research Program for Rain Enhancement Science last year, has filed a provisional patent with the United States Patent and Trademark Office, USPTO. The research team has developed an innovative cloud seeding material using nanotechnology. By filing a patent, they are bringing that material into the pathway for commercialization and supporting Mazda Institute's goal of bolstering the UAE's local intellectual property. The Gulf News reported the same information and stated, a new nano-sized coating of titanium dioxide on salt crystals can boost cloud seeding by 100-fold and has led researchers at Mazda Institute of Science and Technology to file a provisional patent. The National reported it in February but that article has since been deleted. February saw a report by the Gulf News outlet, stating the NCMS is also doing cloud seeding to enhance rainfall, but it's still too early to measure its results for now. The Arabian Businesses News outlet reported in February, on the U.S. Patent Office filing for the nanotech cloud seeding. Pakistan's The News Outlet reported in February that a major cloud seeding operation that was initiated by the UAE authorities two months ago is threatening to upset the ongoing HBL Pakistan Super League. According to reports, more than 50 cloud seeding operations in less than two months are the reason behind the extraordinary rainfall that has hit Dubai and adjoining areas. It's worth taking a look at the flooded stadium images in this article, to get an idea of what the UAE government is doing to people. In March, the Dubai Eye reported that Met officials stated, the rainy conditions the UAE is currently experiencing, is a combination of natural weather and cloud seeding. The mistake in this statement is claiming there is natural weather in the UAE. Once you start modifying your weather, there is no such thing as natural weather, whether in season or out of season, your weather is now modified, natural weather systems have been disrupted. Another, now deleted article, from the National stated, after cloud seeding operations that residents in many areas mopped up water that entered their homes and 41% of flights were delayed at Dubai International Airport. The electric charge method, cloud ionization technology, was being utilized by Professor Yuri Tkachenko from Magnetic Technologies in March. You might recognize the tech, that looks similar to the technology used by Rainwater Tech, who are based in Texas, USA, that claim to have used it for 10 years, 2014 onwards, in the Middle East and Australia, although the professor states, it is his technology, as reported by the Gulf News outlet. The Nilegate News site reported on 27 March, that the last cloud seeding missions of 2017 would take place in the coming days. The Gulf News reported that, there were 100 cloud seeding missions carried out by six aircraft. The Dubai Eye reported that, rain enhancement is not damaging to human health or the environment. Although I'm pretty sure the man who crashed his car, in 2023, during flooding after cloud seeding, that killed his son, in the accident, might disagree with that 2017 statement. The National reported that UAE researchers, received UK grants, with Professor Zhu having recently been funded for work on cloud seeding. The $5 million UAE REP grant program for 2017 to 2018 received applications from 710 researchers affiliated to 316 institutions across 68 countries, according to the Gulf News on 5 April. The Arabian Businesses News site reported in April 2017 that cloud seeding operations are set to increase in the run up to the Dubai Expo 2020. 2018. In April 2018, the National reported that there were nine cloud seeding missions since Friday as rain falls over UAE. Flights covered all parts of the country and coincide with a bout of unsettled weather, which as you will have learnt is clearly not within the November to February cloud seeding season, where clouds are available for seeding, which is confirmed by the 24th of July article 
in the Gulf News which stated that, to enhance the chances of rain and amount of rainfall, the Weather Bureau conducted cloud seeding operations on Tuesday, 24 July. 2019. The Australian Nine News outlet published an article, in November 2019 stating that, cloud seeding may have triggered heavy UAE rainfall, which caused flooding in Dubai's largest luxury shopping mall. The article states further, cloud seeding has been carried out in New South Wales, Tasmania, Victoria and Queensland since the late 1940s, but scientists are unconvinced over its effectiveness and suitability in Australia. So 80 years later, they are still doing it in Australia but they don't know if it works or not. Could you imagine these people working on your car for 80 years and not being able to decide if it works or not, based on what we know till now, about the internal combustion engine? September and The National reported that, the UAE tests nanotech cloud seeding in bid to boost rainfall. Missions are being flown from Al Ain Airport, to release nanomaterials over the Northern Emirates. Look out Texas, you're next. 2020, January 2020 and the latestly news outlet reports that, the UAE lashed by heavy rains and hail due to cloud seeding. April and the National asks can cloud seeding save Earth? I'm curious if anyone knows any more about this extinction level event, ELE, and when it's going to drop. And just in case anyone wants to know, the answer to that, can we justify interfering with natural weather systems, to make money out of it, but will scare you into believing you are all going to die unless we do it, question is. No. In July the National reported that, 219 cloud seeding operations had been carried out in the first six months of the year. A total of 4,841 aircraft dispersed flares and 419 ground-based generator flares were used. The same information was reported by the Gulf Businesses and the Gulf Today news outlets. Dubai Lad reported that cloud seeding missions would continue. Texas, USA. In September the utilities site reported that, the UAE REP tests efficiency of new cloud seeding nanomaterials in USA. Campaign aims to investigate cloud seeding effectiveness of novel nanomaterials developed by programs, First Cycle Awardee, following its successful test in UAE. The UAE Rain Enhancement Program, UAE REP, overseen by the National Center of Meteorology, NCM, has launched a flight campaign in Texas, USA, to investigate the effect of novel cloud seeding nanomaterials on the droplet size distribution and ultimately the rainfall generation process. This was also reported by the Gulf News outlet. 2021, it was announced in 2021 that, the UAE REP was transitioning from research, to operations in rain enhancement. So it's all brand new then. What was a little tinkering, is now, operational. In March, Wired reported that the UAE wants more rain, so it's sending up drones to electrify the clouds. The National Centre of Meteorology has teamed up with, a UK university to trial another way to spur rainfall in the desert. It's just another electric charge method and the UK tests were kept under the radar from the UK public view. Which is a good time to mention patent application title, Apparatus and Related Methods for Weather Modification BY Electrical Processes in the Atmosphere. Inventors, Helmut Fleura, Elena Davidova, Yuri Savelyev, and Assignees, Meteo Systems International AG. Publication date, 2011. Patent application number, 2011-017-4892. The National reports that, cloud seeding in the UAE. Does rain enhancement technique make the air more or less polluted? As academics debate the effect in a series of conflicting papers, the National Center of Meteorology says there is no effect on people at ground level. Unless of course, you happen to be one of the people removing flood water, out of your home etc etc. Nothing to see here, move along please. Urdu Point and Pakistan Point News and the WAM on 20 March, 2021, announced, at the first virtual International Rain Enhancement Forum, IREF, researchers from Khalifa University shared their innovative methodologies and new insights to enhancing rainfall across the UAE. The UAE REP research grant for 2021 received 81 proposals from 378 researchers, affiliated with 159 research and academic institutions, across 37 countries, 
as reported by the utilities news site. In June, nine proposals had been shortlisted. In May, the Kaleige Times reported, UAE weather, expect more pre-summer rain, says expert. Cloud seeding operations are in progress to further enhance rainfall. The Abu Dhabi World reported the same information, as did the Gulf News site. August 2021 and the National Reports, heavy rain falls over Sharjah after cloud seeding. Which shows the program is all year. 2022 and 2023. It's the same as previously mentioned, all year long, ad infinitum. The final comment in my UAE Activity Summary Report, published on 13 March, 2024, on Substack, says this, in regard to writing about recent activities in 2022 and 2023, and there being no point in commenting on it as, the weather is modified all year round, there are regular extreme weather events, there is property damage and all the usual rhetoric is given. The same activities are continuing in 2024. You can find that info on my Substack page or in the International Weather Wars playlist, on this YouTube channel. I hope the info shown here helps you build a constructive opinion on whether the UAE REPS activities are responsible for the flooding seen recently, or not. Thanks for watching, take care and I'll see you next time.